This is what we teach in personal transformation, and we can teach this to kids from a very young age. You are not what you do. You are not your performance. You are not your reputation. You are not your beliefs. Those are all temporary. Who you are is who you know to be in terms of identifying the attributes that define who you truly are. What we've got is we've got people going to college and high school that never have learned what ignites my heart, what has purpose, what has meaning, what has values. You have to identify these values and that takes work. You also have to understand what needs are getting in the way. If I have the need to connect with people and I haven't learned how my brain works, how can I ever have a social connection with that person if I don't understand how my brain needs? So the first need is I need to understand the need for understanding. And then, if I understand that, then there's the need for respect. The need to be understood, the need to be connected. These are huge needs that, if not met, can dissipate any possibility for a person with ADHD to create social connections. So you accept your brain wiring, you identify it, and then you begin to identify who you are. This is what we hope our kids could have. What do you want, a kid that performs well the rest of their life? A kid who knows what's important to who they are in their heart and heads and pursues that. But nobody did it for us either. I have people going through a program, we don't learn this life curriculum, that to become, yeah, I'm, I don't know why I put this one in, sorry. I was, I remember now, I was sitting, on, I surprised myself, um, I'm sitting on a, this is about 15 foot tower, observing Lake Onondaga in Syracuse. I went to visit my friends, we had a party. And when I was up there, I said, Here's my observer, what am I saying? Who am I? I was kind, you know, self-compassion is different than self-esteem. I highly recommend you read a book by Kristen Neff, Self-Compassion. There's a difference between self-esteem and self-compassion. Self-esteem is how well you are in terms of your performance. Self-compassion is how well you love yourself. And there's a difference. I don't have time, but accepting and embracing yourself non-judgmentally. Can I watch myself on the movie and say, there I go again doing that thing. Can I correct it without beating myself up? Can I have an empty heart rather than a full heart? Because if it's already full, there's nothing left to go in. Can I embrace all of who I am? An acknowledgement, four to one ratio. Barbara Fredrickson says, there are 15, 10 emotions that define human life. She's done research on this. Look at what these do. We, how, how many of us teach joy in school as a value? Gratitude, love, compassion. These are all the things, all. These are the things that make us tick. And we don't even teach them, but we can model them. I had, model, I had love modeled for me at a very young age. They didn't have to teach me that because they did it. So now it becomes, what are you modeling for your kids? What are you modeling for yourself in terms of these 10 positive emotions? Because the research is showing this is what defines us.